So yeah, a lot of chatter about diversity. Um, aside from amazing perks, companies are trying to lure um, marginalized people in with uh, claims of inclusion and cohesive culture in which everyone's contributions are heard, respected, and valued. My company said this too. And then this <laughs> happened. <clears throat> so one day in my work chat, my Slack channel, um, okay. Um, so one day in my work Slack channel, this happened. Um, it was a gift fee fail, and it resulted in this meme. What do you say to this? How do you respond? So first, <laughs> first, I bet you'll try to rationalize. You'll say, you know what? It was just a fail. You know, when you do a Giphy search, sometimes you'll type in like Giphy dance, and it'll be something highly inappropriate, and it'll happen in your Slack channel at work. It happens. Um, you know. When I saw it, Family Guy, first of all, is already a, an offensive show. It's offensive to everybody at some point. So it was offensive because it was Family Guy. Um, you know, it was offensive because it was just something that shouldn't have been. It was just a weird joke. It was weird. Um, and so I sat and I hoped that it would be taken down. I was like, you know what? I'm sure he'll realize that this is probably like not right. And he'll just delete it, right? But minutes went past and it was still there. And as minutes went past and the joke was still there, and more jokes were happening about lesbians, I was like, you know what? Should I say something? Should I not say something? I'm only one of two black women in the office. And I don't want to bring that sort of attention to myself. Like, I just want to go to work and do a nine to five. So um, I wondered, like, should I say something? And I also trusted my coworkers. I was like, you know, I trust that they know you know, what's mean or what's something that's not good to say. So, you know, I'm faced with something that I shouldn't be faced with at work, and I'm just wondering, like, what to do. Um, as I was rationalizing, these were some of the other thoughts that were going through my head. Just a, just a little range of, you know, seriously, is this really, did he really just post that? And, okay. Yeah. So, at this moment, I had a choice to either do nothing and allow my fear about pointing out my differences silence me, or I could say something and have the picture removed. Um, I'm, first of all, I'm confronted with something that shouldn't have to happen again at work or in a social setting that is supposed to be cordial and professional. Um, and it made me feel kind of wrong or bad to bring up the fact that it was something wrong with that meme. You initially like feel this responsibility to like educate or correct or inspire change, and sometimes you just you don't want to do all that. Like you don't feel like you should have to do all of that. Um, know that you are not and never are wrong for your feelings about a thing. My feelings, because I am a you know identified as a lesbian, were was that it was it, it was just like not a joke that should have been posted, you know. So. I'm not wrong for feeling like that, and I'm sure that other people probably felt that way as well. Um, it's not your fault that other people don't play well, and for the most part, you should feel comfortable in your work environments. Um, that includes chat channels, that includes online communities, and anything that is centered around social situations at work. Um, you shouldn't have to deal with off-color jokes because people should know, as humans, that it's probably not right to have those things in public spaces. So. What was the resolution? Because I personally felt weird about the joke and the stereotypes that followed after the joke, like there were more jokes about lesbians and things. Um, I sent a private message to the person who posted it and I asked them to have it removed. Um, I explained why it was offensive to me and probably other people. And the person said, you know, I get it. I get it and let me take it down. They took it down. Um, <clears throat> there were questions in the greater chat channel about like why it was removed and oh, this is not a joke anymore, guys, because it's been removed, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and it, it made me feel uncomfortable, but I also felt proud of myself for not allowing myself to be silenced. <clears throat> so as companies start boasting like diverse workplaces and all these little buzzwords and stuff, they have to understand that 
in order to truly embrace excuse me, inclusion, they have to be at the ground level. They have to like go to the employees that are marginalized or different and ask if they're having a good experience. Like it's really okay to say, hey, are you feeling comfortable at work? Do you feel included at work? Like it's cool to do that. Um, <clears throat> instead of just guessing or assuming that they are feeling comfortable in their spaces. Um, if you are at work and you see something that's not right or something rubs you the wrong way or is the joke that is probably not funny to the greater <laughs> community, it is your right to be comfortable at work. It is your right to be able to say something and express the fact that you don't feel right about this thing. Um, the only way that we'll really achieve workplaces that are comfortable um, is if we face unpleasant situations head on and collectively work together to stop things from happening. If you can't solve it civilly between coworkers like I did, go to HR. If you feel like HR is not listening to you, go above them. If that doesn't work, go to social media, take screenshots. Like, you know, there's this thing about people being whistleblowers and it being a whole big thing. And um, <clears throat> a lot of my personal heroes are actually whistleblowers. Go, Adria. Um, but uh, I think that, you know, in this conversation of whistleblowers and, you know, oh, this person said things and you get this uh, stereotype, people are silenced. And they feel like, I don't want to be a whistleblower. I just want to go to work. And it's your responsibility or it's your right to, to just be comfortable at just in social situations, at, around the water cooler or whatever. Um, never be, be afraid of using your voice because your voice is what is guiding the next generation of tech workers to come in and feel comfortable in situations. There are a lot of people that are looking at you know, brown and marginalized people as sort of um, ambassadors or people to help them to feel comfortable to get in. And if they feel like we're not saying anything, then we're not setting you know, a great example. So what are the takeaways? One, you have a right to be comfortable at work and in online social um, settings. That includes you know, Slack, uh, whatever. Um, you're confirmed in your expectations that humans will treat each other kindly. Um, with dignity and respect, and they'll use the proper decorum at work, even when the culture is like relaxed or cool or casual or whatever. Um, you have a right to say something if you see something that is homophobic or racist or mean or just um, exclusionary. You have a right to say something, but it's not your job to be the morally sound educator all the time. You can get mad. You can have an, oh, no, you didn't moment. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> Humans, again, should know to be kind to one another, and it's not wrong to expect that at work. And people should try at work to be respectful. Um, also know that your opinions and contributions should be valued, respected, and appreciated. You might not always be in a position where you can share like opinions about your workload, but you should be able to feel like you can be heard at work without repercussions. Um, if you feel like you can't do this, or you see something offensive, say something. Just do it. Just You got it. Just do it. Um, it can be from a place of education, or it can just be a quick retort. But you're within rights to say something because it is something that offended you as a human being. And humans work together, and we should work together better. Um, <laughs> do the things that you need to do to be heard. Um, also, don't let your differences silence you respect them and expect to be respected in return. Um, and yeah, talk up. So that's my little speech and this is where to contact me. <laughs> Thanks.